What is the latest in your reporting? So with the manager search, it hasn't begun yet at all. Uh, there have been, I mean, people involved, including Billy Epler, have preliminary lists of names. So what the Mets are going to do is once Epler signs, they're going to sit down, they're going to meet, they're going to, Epler wants to say, like, okay, well, what do you guys want in a manager? Because I have this kind of guy and this kind of guy and this kind of guy in mind. Do you want experience? Do you want analytics? Do you want old school? Do you want a big name? Uh, so once the Mets are able to sit down and kind of refine what they actually want, uh, then the list will be more meaningful. But as of right now, preliminarily, uh, we've heard. Uh, we know the name Joe Espada that we've already talked about on, on this uh, network. We know that Buck Showalter is somebody that Epler interviewed and liked in Los Angeles. Uh, we know that John Farrell is someone he interviewed and liked in Los Angeles. Uh, so those are a couple of names to get you started. Uh, but really, it's going to come down to a meeting in the minds between Billy Epler, his new assistant GMs, his new front office, some input from Sandy Alderson, some input from Steve Cohen. And that just hasn't happened yet. Jim, you were on Mets Hot Stove last night. You talked about Joe Espada as a potential candidate for this job. You see him as a fit. Why? Well, I, I think there's a couple things if you're looking at it from Billy Epler's position, right? So he, first off, you have to have a prior relationship. I think it helps to, to, with the general manager. That position is so important to have that trust factor. And they've known each other for a long time. They knew each other when Joe was with the Yankees and when Billy was with the Yankees. I think when you look at uh, Espada in his resume, he's gotten and grown more each uh, year that, or in each organization that he's been involved with. So he went from infield coach to third base coach. Then he went to Houston. He's been the bench coach there under Dusty Baker. And and being around Houston a little bit here during the postseason, Joe Spada has a lot of freedom to run the team and do things and talk to Dusty. He's gotten a lot of experience without the job of being an actual manager, without that responsibility, but he's doing a lot behind the scenes. So I think with, when you do that, and then I think the other thing is, more times than not, the managers, you have to be open-minded to getting information from the front office and take you know, suggestions from lineup cards and that sort of thing. And he certainly would, is a guy that would do that. He's coming from an analytically based organization down in Houston. So he checks a lot of boxes. He doesn't check the media experience box, but he, there's a lot there, I think, to like. And by the way, I think in Espada's favor, not necessarily in Showalter's, both Billy Epler and Steve Cohen, you know that their lean is going to be toward people who will uh, accept the analytics and mm. game management right, right. for sure.